Lesson 4 in Code Combat JavaScript Edition. Goals. Avoid the fire traps. Get the gems. Use five lines of code or less. Ooh. Challenge. Ah, and it looks like, yep, we're introducing a way to optimize code. Instead of writing this twice, instead of writing something that's redundant, for example, if I wrote move here or right, move here or right on the next line, you can actually insert numbers here. And I'll demonstrate this. So as they already have here, hero move right, and hopefully uh, they're previewing the map for us. Yes, he will go right three times. Now it looks like we want to avoid these bombs, so we do want him to go up, but it up only once. And so as we've done before, we don't actually have to specify or include a number here for our hero to move only once. Um, so that should be good. And then it looks like we're going to go right again. And then down, let's see here. Yes, one, two, three, hopefully. And so to move down three again, we can now just insert numbers instead of typing it three times in a row. That's redundant. And then I think over, it looks like right twice. And again, let's use our way to optimize code with a number there. And let's hope that's correct. It's getting around the map. This is looking good for us and it meets the stipulation of five lines of code. You might wonder what about this line? This line is a statement. Statements do not count. They are not actually read when the code is run. These are for the programmers. It's just ignored by uh, programs. So this does count as five lines and we are going to go ahead victoriously on to lesson five.